Three team trade between the Phoenix Suns, Brooklyn Nets, and Memphis Grizzlies, with Royce O'Neal being the headline player in this deal going back to Phoenix, where he spent many seasons with this Sun team. So, Royce O'Neal is a 3 and D guy. He's perfect off the bench, in my opinion, for the Phoenix Suns, but it's a better real life move and a fantasy basket move. So, the full trade, Royce O'Neal, David Roddy to the Suns. The Grizzlies get Yuta, Wanabe, Cheese him at two, and the Nets get Kiat Chop and Jordan Goodwin in the deal. This was a deal where the Memphis Grizzlies, they wanted some draft capital and they got it in this deal with a few picks going their way. So Royce O'Neal on the year, 7.4 points a game, 4.5 rebounds, 2.8 assists, two threes and 38% from the field. So it's a real life move. Like I said, it's good, a three and D player off the bench. Obviously he knows the Phoenix area. He played there for many seasons was Royce O'Neal. And now he could help Kevin Durant and this team coming off the bench hitting threes because they got all their superstars obviously Booker Durant and Bradley Beal and now just role players and players can hit open corner threes and play decent defense off the bench and that's what O'Neal will bring to the Suns and also David Roddy he's been a decent piece this season for the Memphis Grizzlies where this Grizzly team a lot of injuries have been a problem for them and Roddy was a player that was getting playing time over the last month on the year 8.4 points a game 4.2 rebounds, 1.6 assists, the 3 and 40% from the field. So he adds more depth to this Phoenix Sun team. But obviously not going to have fantasy value, but as a backup forward, you can never have enough scoring or play who could come in and bring some energy. And that's what Roddy will bring for this Sun team. Now to the Memphis part of the deal, it was about the draft capital for them getting a the future second round picks in the deal here. And we know this Memphis team, it's been a tough season. Many players hurt. John Morant out for the season Desmond Maine he's gonna be out multiple weeks more even though he's missed a bunch of time already Jared Jackson they traded Tillman yesterday so a lot of pieces on this Memphis team where it was bad luck and Yuta Wanate he's a three-point shooter but he's not gonna have any fantasy value on the year 3.6 points a game 1.6 rebounds and 36 percent from the field so he won't have value even though they need some warm bodies no doubt about it is this Grizzly team with all the injuries and Metu he saw some playing time this season, five points a game, three rebounds, and 50% from the field. So I actually could see Metu getting some playing time with the Xavier Tillman deal where he could play some powered forward in center. And like I said, this team, they just need warm bodies, but I don't think Metu will carve out much of a role to have fantasy value, but definitely someone I could see playing anywhere from 10 to 20 minutes per game is Metu. And now to the Brooklyn Nets, the Nets, they made some moves today as well. Dinwiddie, they traded. Now you get Bates Chop in the deal, but I don't see Bates Chop really playing. He's a back end of the bench type of player to fill out the roster. 4.5 points a game, 2.6 boards, and 42% from the field. So he's a backup third string forward. He's going to be for this Brooklyn Nets team, someone to fill out the roster. And Goodwin as well is a third string point guard, most likely, for this Nets team. Behind Dennis Schroeder, they got Dennis Smith Jr. and Jordan Goodwin, 5 points a game, 2.9 boards. And 38% from the field. So this pretty much was a three-team deal with small aspects to it. And not really any fantasy value for any of these players. But it's a real-life move. I like it for the Suns getting two good bench pieces. And Royce O'Neal and David Roddy to help this Sun team try to make the championship this season. After last season, they fell short. And we'll see if this deal does it for them for the remainder of the 2024 season.